What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ron Rizuki, and today we're gonna be breaking down how you can learn to shoot as a beginner. Let's get to it. The first thing we wanna do is talk about a few common mistakes that you're gonna to try to avoid, some good habits that you wanna build, and break down the mechanics of how to shoot the ball correctly. So, number one, first thing that we wanna do is just make sure that our hands are placed in the correct position, which we'll be putting our shooting hand, for me, it's gonna be my right hand in the center of the basketball. I don't want it on the side, I don't want it facing any different direction that pops my elbow out. If I can get my hand in the center of the basketball, this will allow me to have my hand underneath the basketball by the time I go to shoot it, right? I don't wanna be out here shooting the ball sideways. I wanna make sure I can push it up out, flick it, and have some good arc on it. So, number one, I like to split my index and my middle finger right here to give me really good control of the basketball, split it halfway so I'm even on both sides. Some people prefer the index and some prefer the middle, but I'm gonna go ahead and just split right here. You can choose what's most comfortable for you within the realm of this hand in the middle. Now, secondly, what we wanna do is get our guide hand on the side of the ball, but not directly on the side, because then this is too close, and you don't really have a good grip of the ball like this. You're gonna put it on the side, but you're gonna slide it right here so it's a little bit on top. Now you got a really good secure basketball in your hands and you're not able to lose it. Once you go to shoot it, you just take the lid off, you release it nice and clean without using both hands to push it. When your hands are too close together, this makes it a lot easier to wanna to push the ball with both hands. So let's make sure that we avoid that, get really, really good control of the ball with our hand in the middle and our hand be on the side slightly on top. This way we can just start with correct hand position when we get into shooting the basketball. Now, next step is gonna be talking about our shot path. How the ball is supposed to travel from the ground up, how we're supposed to build rhythm and be able to transfer that energy to shoot that ball from distance eventually. So, number one is gonna be starting down here. My hips are low, the ball is low together. These will always work together, right? I'm never gonna be having the ball go up when my hips go down because now I'm not gonna have good transfer of energy. I won't be able to shoot with range and you won't be able to build a strong, consistent three-point jumper. So, right now, let's make sure the ball is low, the hips are low. We're gonna bring that ball up together from the quad to the chest, to the eye. Right there, beautiful, straight line. What I don't wanna do is start to have that ball come this way or come this way and go in any other path. It's not coming towards my ears. It's not going behind my head. It comes straight from my quad, straight through my chest, straight through my eye, and now you can see how my forearm is in line with the basket, my hand, my elbow are underneath the ball, and we've built some really good habits on how to shoot the ball correctly. You might not be able to get it all the way up to your eye, but as long as you keep it in a straight line, maybe it comes to the nose, and then it goes out from there, which is also okay. What you want to avoid doing is starting the ball over here. What you want to avoid doing is starting the ball over here. So as long as you can avoid those things, you're already building good habits on how to build a good jump shot for long term. Now your release. As you get up into your shot, we talked about releasing it cleanly with one hand. So what I want to do is make sure I'm releasing it with these two fingers here so I can get optimal rotation on that ball, let it spin, get nice soft touch off the basket in case I do hit the rim and that way it can still fall in. So we're getting up into our shot, my hand's underneath the ball, I'm going to release it right here. And what you notice on my guide hand is that my wrist is always pointed to the floor of my guide hand. I'm never gonna have my guide hand turn and face the rim because now you're gonna see this push that happens with both hands. We wanna avoid this push and just have a flick. If you have a flick, you're gonna have beautiful soft touch. The ball will travel through the air cleanly. And if it does hit the rim, it will still fall in nice and soft. So getting into the shot, we're here. I'm gonna release that ball and flick. Now you can see how my fingers come down. They're pointed straight to the ground not pointed towards the rim like so. You want to avoid pushing it, you want to avoid pushing it, you want to flick it so that way your fingers are always facing the ground. So now that you have an idea and a base on what your shot is supposed to look like, a really good way to see if you are shooting the ball correctly is to set your phone up or have a friend record you so that way when you're shooting the ball, you can see that you are shooting it correctly. Now, as we get to the basket here, what we want to do is start from close and build that same rhythm we talked about. Ball low, hips low, hands in the center, guy hand to the side, we're coming up together, ball up, hips up, and then you can see that ball rotating off this flick right here, how it's spinning, and I got that beautiful backspin every single time into all of my shots, right? That's what you wanna have. You don't wanna have a dead ball where it's going out the rim like that, and you wanna make sure that you're flicking the basketball, right? You also don't wanna come up here and then have that rhythm. This rhythm where we get ball low, hips low, is the same rhythm that you're gonna need when you shoot from deeper, and it's gonna make it really easy when you're getting into your step backs, your hesitation pull-ups, your catch and shoot jumpers, popping out and moving away from the basket, still being able to get that same rhythm. So, we'll make 10 in a row from really, really close. Once you can do that and you feel comfortable with that, then you're gonna to start to aim for making 20 in a row, and then when you do that, you're gonna to move to the sides, do the same thing from the sides, 
we'll go ahead and start to back up a little bit. But as a beginner, you might notice that some bad habits start to come into play, right? And so you really, really gotta focus in on making sure that you're not building any bad habits when you shoot the basketball. Some, like I talked about, is turning that left hand or turning your guide hand to push the basketball. Some being not flicking all the way or flicking with the wrong fingers, turning your wrist in opposite directions, not towards the basket, maybe having your elbow pop out too far. So if you notice these things, slow yourself down, make sure that you learn and build a strong foundation for shooting the ball correctly and not having these bad habits come into your game early. Right? If you see that ball coming too far behind your head or too far to either side, avoid those things. Keep it coming straight through your eye and straight to that rim. Keep your guide hand straight on the side. And then as far as arc goes, you can see that my elbow is always above my eyebrow. So I'm not shooting it flat. I'm not shooting it too high where my bicep is by my ear. I just want my elbow above my eyebrow, just like so. So we want good arc, good rotation. This will allow us to have a consistent shot and get it straight to the rim every single time. You can see my left hand is not pushing the ball. And then as I get a little further back, I'm gonna build some more rhythm. Ball and hips together. Ball and hips together. So, when you feel comfortable in making multiple, multiple shots in a row, you're gonna build your confidence. It's gonna make it easier for you when you start to get into games. So, everything that you're gonna do right now is all gonna be off the catch, no dribbles. This way you can set your hands really, really easily to get into your shot. When you feel good, you feel comfortable being able to catch the ball, have your hands set and get into your shot, then you can build that same thing off the dribble. So now when we feel comfortable, we're able to make 20 in a row off the catch. We're gonna add one right hand dribble, get straight into that same shot. We can go left hand dribble, same shot, and nothing will change as far as our mechanics go. We just wanna build that hand placement off the bounce. Being able to get in that same position Right hand dribble, left hand dribble, and get into the same shot. Off the bounce, off the catch, off a move, running off a screen, turning in different directions. But as a beginner, let's make sure that we get the basics down first, build consistency from there, and then we can add all the advanced moves. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.